Hi and welcome to the part 3 of the wireless hacking series by 11hacker.com. In this video we will go and have a look at the wireless modes. So before going in let's first have a look at some of the basic abbreviations and terms. So this slide is very very important because we will be using these abbreviations uh, quite frequently and you should know what they actually mean. So let's start off with the first abbreviation which is STA which means station. So the, basically a station is a client which is trying to connect to an access point. So a good example could be a laptop or a smartphone that is trying to connect to an access point. So the next abbreviation is AP which means access point. So a good example is wireless router. So the third abbreviation is BSS which means basic service set. So there are two types of BSS. One is the infrastructure BSS and the second one is the independent BSS. In an infrastructure BSS, there is an AP and two or more stations connected to it. In an independent BSS, there is no AP, which means two stations or two or more stations communicate between themselves. So the IBSS, I mean the independent BSS is commonly referred to as the ad hoc mode. So these BSS are identified by a MAC address and they are called as the BSS ID basic service set identifier so in the case of an infrastructure BSS it is the MAC address of the access point and in the case of IBSS it is a randomly chosen MAC address by the first station so basically the first client goes and chooses a MAC address uh, a random MAC address so the next abbreviation is ESS which stands for extended service set so when two or more uh, BSS are connected it is called as ESS so these two or I mean two these BSS are usually connected by a DS which is distribution system basically the wired side basically the LAN side so when two or more um, uh, BSS are connected using LAN they are called as the ESS so the next abbreviation is SSID which is service set identifier basically the network name basically the name of the AP so this is the one that you see in your network manager basically the available access points uh, in your area so the final abbreviation is the ESSID it stands for extended service set identifier so this means uh, basically two or more interconnected wireless PSS that have the same SSID so to give you a clear picture I just took some screenshots from the Microsoft.com so you can see here two stations basically two clients connected to an access point and you call this as the BSS and when two BSS are connected by LAN which is basically ETS they are called as the ESS extended service set and this is an independent BSS which means there is no AP and basically stations connect I mean communicate between themselves so now let's go and have a look at some of the wireless modes so there are many wireless modes some of which I have mentioned here the master mode basically the access point is called as the master mode uh, managed mode basically your client is called as the managed mode ad hoc mode which is IBSS so we just saw this in the previous slide so monitor mode or RF mode this mode is used for sniffing basically when you are in this mode you can actually uh, see all the packets that are in the air so this mode is similar to the promiscuous mode in LAN so if you have done LAN, slim, LAN sniffing you should uh, be familiar with promiscuous mode so there are other modes like the mesh mode repeater mode uh, wireless distribution system and stuff like that so as far as wireless hacking is concerned we will be interested only in the first four modes which is master managed ad hoc and multi mode so that brings us to the question for this video what is the difference between a mesh mode and a ad hoc mode so if you know the answer please post the answer in the comment section so the point to note here is when um, I mean the Linux OS which act as a station basically as a client are called as the managed mode and the one which acts as an AP is called as the master mode. So please uh, note this one. So now it's demo time. 
So how do you go and check the supported modes of the card? And then how do you go and switch modes? So let's just have a look at it. So what I've done is I've connected two wireless um, cards. One is the Alpha card and the other one is TP Link card to my laptop and I've just SSH'd into it. So if I do an IW config now, I should see three interfaces. And you can see three interfaces. One is the uh, default one that is there on my laptop. The other two are the Alpha card and the TP Link card. So, so if uh, to know more about the supported interface, first I'll find out my physical ID of the card. So I'll do an IW tab. So you can see that the WLAN zero, uh, I mean WLAN one has PHY eleven, WLAN two has PHY ten, and WLAN zero has PHY zero. So now let's go and have a look at the supported modes for. Uh, WLAN 1, so I'll do an IW and then say PHY 0 and info. And then we will grab it uh, and say modes because we are interested in only modes and then say A8, A10, sorry, so that we'll get 10 lines after modes. So you can see the supported modes of the uh, w, I mean WLAN 0. Uh, so this uh, it supports IBSS, basically ad hoc mode, managed mode, AP, and stuff like that. You can just go and check for other cards as well as PHY9, sorry, PHY8, I guess. Let me just have a look at it. PHY10 and 11. Then it's basically the alpha card, IBSS, managed and monitor mode. And for 11 which is basically my tp link card you can go and just check it says ibss managed ap ap vlan and stuff like that so this is how you'll go and check the supported modes now how do you go and switch modes so for this first let's have a look at our interfaces and see which mode it is currently in so i'll do an iw config and you can see that WLAN 0 is in managed mode, WLAN 2 is in ad hoc mode, and WLAN 1 is in managed mode. So we'll just have a look at WLAN 2 now. So we'll just do an IW config and say WLAN 2. So it is currently in ad hoc mode. So how do you go and change it to managed mode? So we'll use some. Um, so we'll first bring the card down. We'll do an if config. WLAN 2 down and say now I'll use IW config to change the modes. Let's go and first have a look at the options for that. So you can change modes by doing IW config, the interface, and then the mode. So I'll just do IW config, WLAN 2, I guess, and then say mode then say managed now let me go and bring the card back up so if i do an iw config wlan2 now i should see that the mode has been changed to manage so now you can go and uh, try out this stuff you can see how to go and change with your ad hoc mode and uh, other modes so the next thing I wanted to show you is how do you go and change the, I mean, put the card in monitor mode. Because for sniffing, we need to put our card in monitor mode. So for that, we'll use a tool called Airmon NG. Start, let's say WLAN 2. So this will go and create a virtual monitor interface called as Mon0. So the best part about Airmon NG is that it will create virtual interfaces and there is no limit. Basically, you can go and create as many as, I mean, number of uh, multiple monitor interfaces. So, you can just go and create another interface saying WLAN 2. So, basically, you have two monitor interfaces now, Mon 0 and Mon 1. You can see here, the do an IW config, say Mon. 
can see multiple interfaces here mon 0 and mon 1 both are in managed mode so this is very useful because uh, by using a single card you can go and create as many as number of uh, mount interfaces so uh, when you're trying and uh, doing some hacks like when you're going to create in a fake ap and then uh, trying to attack the client's connector to connect to it you need uh, multiple uh, interfaces for that you can use a single card and create number of monitor interfaces so what we uh, so the things we learned from this video is that we can we used airmon ng to put the card in monitor mode and then uh, we learned that airmon ng with the airmon ng we can go and create a number of virtual monitor interfaces like mon0 mon1 and stuff like that so I hope um, this video was helpful and informative so if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please mail us to john at one hackercom So or just post a comment below. Thank you for watching.